Aries, what's up? It's your girl Elise Laveau and I am back with another Zodiac video. I almost said daily vibe there for two seconds. Okay, so I am back with another Zodiac video. Um, finally, we are back, Aries. Yes, we are. You will be getting two curated uh, Zodiac videos a month. So that's Every two weeks, you're getting a video to help you get, get you through that month that we are in, okay? These videos are timeless, so if you see them at any point in time past the month that these go up, that is the time you were supposed to see them, okay? If you have Aries in any of your placements, sun, moon, or rising, this could possibly resonate. Or if you have, have Aries in any of your 12 houses, this could also possibly resonate, okay? If you are a cross watcher, hello and welcome. You can stay as long as you want, as long as you're positive underneath this video. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and not don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any new uploads from me, okay guys? So let's get into this reading, Aries, for the no month of November. Listen, you guys have been going through it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Emperor. We have the Lovers in reverse. And we have the Two of Cups in reverse. <sighs> we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, listen. Some of you have been going through it, and if not some, all of you, especially surrounding your relationship. And it's funny because this Zodiac, I did not pull on relationship, but this is curated around your relationship, this, this tarot reading here. With the Four of Cups out, the Four of Cups is reaching out to others and others just not being receptive to you. It's depression, it's sadness, it's feeling alone, it's feeling like no one has your back. Um, and I get it. I want you to know that this is not a forever thing. It's only because you're giving your energy and your love and your time, your patience to people who are non-deserving of you. Okay, with this Four of Cups in reverse, I want you to come out of that depression, come out of that moment of feeling like you have no one. You have me. If that means anything, y'all got me, okay? With this Four of Cups, I want you to come out of that state of mind, especially there's way too much going on um, in the world right now than to be dealing with internal um, warfare within yourself, okay? With the Emperor upright, it's Aries energy. It is you. This is you coming up as the Emperor, okay? And I want you to know it's saying how, what you are. You crave structure and organization. You're strong and powerful. You know what I'm saying? And this is not who you usually are with this Four of Cups in reverse. Usually you are the Emperor. You come you come in and you show the you show out, okay? You let people know what it is and people look to you as an idol, possibly look to you for advice, look to you for um, helping them get through their problems. But right now, you're calling out and reaching out to others and it's you on the other end um, being the emperor. Like It's like you're looking for your emperor. You're looking for this strong person, this person that will be there for you to help you get through your stuff. And I don't think you guys necessarily have them right now. You have the lovers in reverse, which I'm sad about because this this card is saying that you've either possibly going through a divorce, a separation, a breakup of some sort with your partner, falling out of love. Um, with this lovers in reverse, it's also possibly making bad love choices, allowing the wrong people to come into your life and allowing the wrong giving your love to the wrong person giving your love to the person who's non-deserving with this this lover's card and i feel like um this past couple of weeks you've been realizing that and this is what's sending you into, into this depression and sending you into the sadness because it's like damn i'm giving so much of myself to someone that doesn't give the same to me in return and i'm sorry and i know that sucks but i want you to know that it, it's not a forever thing and you will find someone that loves and cherishes you and treats you the way you should be treated okay um i want you guys to be mindful of this lover's card in reverse because i feel like this is 
this is a constant thing with you guys this is like that revolving door you're always picking the wrong person picking going jumping into relationships with the people that you're not necessarily supposed to be with and you guys keep doing it i want you to use your intuition going forward to help you sift out the people you should and should not be with okay now with the two of cups in reverse um again it's just saying recently you've been dealing with relationship problems dealing with someone that is disloyal dealing with almost like this unrequited love situation like there's passion there but there's not enough chemistry to keep things going there's not enough love between the two of you to keep this relationship going hence the reason why we have the lovers in reverse which signifies that breakup that divorce that moment of not being together anymore because you're realizing that there's not enough chemistry between the two of you you see what i'm saying like look at it at the card upright this person is giving as much as they are receiving you know what i'm saying and it's both of them at the same time pouring love into each other in reverse it's it's the opposite you're not getting that you're not receiving that so hence the reason why i sense that there was some type of divorce possibly breakup dealing with that moment of just giving up um and re coming to terms with that decision coming to terms with what's been happening Whew. that got a little a little heavy like and it sucks because as the Aries, you're coming up as the Emperor. Someone that's strong and powerful. A situation that's long-lasting. And that's the part I think that's conflicting for you guys. Because the Emperor is something that's long-lasting. But here we are giving our love and our attention and our affection to people who just don't deserve it. They don't. Look at look at these cards. They All in reverse. They don't deserve it. And no matter how how well you treat them, no matter how hard you try, no matter how many times you beg and plead, no matter you do things differently and it's still never good enough, they still just don't get it. They just don't get it. But I want you to know that it's okay. You will find the person that you're supposed to be with and allow them to go find whoever the hell wants to be with them because nobody wants to deal with that shit. And you shouldn't have to, okay? So moving forward into your oracle reading, we have do the work. Can you focus for me? Do the work. Okay, you can't sit down and expect greatness to come. You have to be greatness first, okay? Do the work. Put your best foot forward, and I don't care. I get it. Right now, you're not in the mood. Right now, you've been going through some things. You've been feeling down. You've been feeling low. You've been feeling sadness and depression and feeling almost in and out of this dark spot. I get it, but do the work. You have to do the work in order to reach to the mountaintop. I've never seen a climber never not do the work and be like, oh yeah, I reached Mount Empress. No, I'm sorry, what? You have to put in that work for you, not for someone else. You've been doing it this whole time for someone else. Do it for you now. Put in the work, do the work. You have a guardian angel coming through for you right now. Look how beautiful this card is with her locks. I think that's beautiful. Can I pan in on these? Ooh. I think that's a beautiful card with her locks. So beautiful. You have a guardian angel coming through for you with this card letting you know that you are not alone. That you don't have to go through this situation alone. That you are being carried along the way. Okay, my Aries. I want you to know that you have your ancestors and your spirit guides are literally carrying you through this process. And it's okay. I want you to know that you will be okay. You will find someone that truly and honestly loves you. You need to do the work first. You need to put your best foot forward. Coming out of November, going into December and into 2021, okay? Listen, ask and you shall receive is the last and final card for your oracle, okay? Ask. Very simple. Ask for what you want from spirit and you will receive it. Once you do the work. So you can't be like, oh... I want financial stability, but you're not putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't ask for abundance and your house is dirty. I'm sorry, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you be sensible. Ask for something that you know that you're, if you're putting in that work, that you will receive. I hope that that makes sense. Like, when I say, like, spirituality is a very, very strange thing. And people think, oh, I want to win some money or I need some money and I want money to come my way. But yet you have 
your whole house is full of the dirty laundry just not gonna happen okay like you gotta do the work you have to put in the work and open yourself to receiving this blessing that you're asking for okay so asking you shall receive it for the ending of november going into december okay my aries friends i love y'all sorry if y'all hear the baby he is up running rampant so i'm trying to run through this video real quick so he's not disruptive um but I hope that this message brought you some um, security, brought you some peace, some guidance, and some direction and clarity, okay? I hope that it put a smile on your face through this, this moment of up and down that you've been feeling, not really feeling like yourself, and just feeling down and out. And I hope that you know that you are the emperor, that you will be on top, that you will stand strong, and that you will be okay. All right, my Aries friends, I love y'all. I'm sending you love, light, and a little bit of darkness because we do need that balance, baby. Okay, I love y'all, and I will see you guys next month in your Zodiac videos. Bye.